and welcome back. It's nice to see you again. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to take your LUT game to the next level by making your own LUTs, how to edit other people's LUTs, and even how to peek and see how other creators have made their LUTs, and hopefully use what you learn from peeking at their LUTs to be able to make your own in the future. In this example, I'm going to show you how to start from Rec 709 footage, and I'm going to show you how to start with something that has been shot in log, like this drone shot here. This is going to be the most common example where people have a picture profile and they want to apply a specific look to it. So I'm going to show you how to do both. First things first, after you've dragged the custom LUT effect onto your clip, you will see there's an option up here in the top right that will let you select which LUT you want to use. Now this is where you're going to look to be able to reference existing LUTs that you already have, as well as to load up the LUTs that you're going to make. For those that haven't been following along, this is one of my tutorials in a series about how to use Pixelmator to replace all sorts of things from Photoshop and from Premiere, and to do it at a bargain price. So if you're using Final Cut Pro and you're looking for something to fill in the gaps and allow you to do some things that Apple's built-in tools don't while still feeling like they are Apple native products because they are, check out Pixelmator Pro. Like I said, it's a bargain and they've got a free trial. So what do you have to lose? All right, let's get going with the tutorial. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to get access to lots you already have on disk. So if you just click on this and come all the way down, you can click on Reveal in Finder. I can just right click up here and this shows me the exact path to the folder where I've got all my LUTs. So if I just come up here a level, you can see here's all the LUTs that I've got installed on my machine. I know that I've got this really great one called Skygrades Natural from Film Poets. I'll link that in the description below. Uh, and it basically takes D-Log footage from a Mavic 2 and turns it into something that is Rec. 709, which is just a nice, natural, even color profile. Now that I've got that copied over so I don't harm the original, I'm just going to show you how to grab a high quality screenshot so we have something to edit over here in Pixelmator. So I'm looking for a frame that has good color variation, that has some recognizable colors like blues and yellows and maybe even some skin tones so that I know when I'm editing my LUT that I've done a good job. In this case, there's not a ton of skin tones and there's no sky, so this is about as good as I'm going to get with these blues and yellows and oranges here. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to export the current frame. The file format doesn't really matter. I'm just going to save it as drone dlog so I know which one it is. I'm good to go. Now, you might have noticed I unchecked my custom LUT I had applied, and that's because in this case, I want to make a new LUT that is built on top of this dlog picture profile. Now, in the other case with this other clip, I want it already in Rec. 709, which is what I've done. It's just a nice natural color space. It's important though that whatever format your clip is coming from, that's what you want to be building your LUT on top of, because LUTs are very specific to cameras and picture profiles and things like that. That's just the nature of LUTs. So you just want to make sure that you're starting from the place where you're going to be applying your LUT. So I've got an instance here of log footage and I have an instance here of Rec. 709 footage. Now once we have that, we're going to come over here to Pixelmator. I just made a new canvas here that is twice the height of a 4K timeline so that I can have both examples here on the same canvas. You can make it the same size as whatever your footage is, and then you just want to drag and drop it onto the canvas. Now that we've got some reference layers set up here in Pixelmator, what we're going to do is we're going to start playing with adjustments. So if you're new to Pixelmator, some of this will look familiar, some of this will look completely foreign to you. It just depends on your experience with image editing tools. I'm gonna go ahead and select this top layer over on the left. And you can see it already looks very nice and natural, but maybe I wanna make this look more cinematic. Maybe I wanna add some teal and orange to it. And that's pretty easy to do. If I come over here to the right and I click on the color adjustments tab, you can see, just grab the temperature here. Maybe I warm it up. Maybe there's a little contrast that I wanna have whatever adjustments I want to do to make this look a little bit more cinematic. Going deep on all of these adjustments could be an entire tutorial on its own. So if you are interested in that, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to make that video for you. I'm just going to go through and based on what I know about what makes up good cinematic footage, fading the blacks and whites a little bit, getting in some contrast, making it warm. That's about all I'm going to do. After I'm happy with the overall look, I add my teal and orange so that I can officially be a YouTuber. Then it's time to actually go and export this. So if we just scroll all the way up here to the top and we click on this ellipsis or this little three dot menu, we're going to click export adjustments as LUT. And it's really that simple. You click on export adjustments, it gives you a place to save it, and you can drag it into Final Cut the same way you did any other LUTs that you've installed from any other location. 
So now that you understand the basics of taking a reference image, turning that reference image into some adjustments and then those adjustments into a LUT, let's show you how to do this with log footage. Log footage is a lot harder to work with. Most people, they just grab the saturation and the vibrance and they crank it up and they say, hey, look, I've converted my log footage into something that looks nice and natural, like Rec. 709. And the reality is, if you actually want Rec. 709, your camera manufacturer provides a LUT that does it. And the reason why is there is actually a mathematical formula to turn log footage into Rec. 709. So that's why we want it as our starting place. So if you're shooting on a Sony and you're shooting uh, S-Log3, or maybe you've got your Mavic and you're shooting D-Log2, you just want to search for that and search for D-Log LUT. And you will find a manufacturer website that gives you a free LUT that turns your footage into Rec. 709. And this will give us a mathematically correct starting place to create your custom look. All right, once you have that D-Log LUT, jump back over here to Pixelmator Pro. Now, you don't have to start from a manufacturer LUT. In fact, if you already have a YouTuber whose LUT you like and you just don't know how you got the look, or maybe the LUT just isn't quite working for your footage because you have a different camera, it's easy. So let's scroll all the way down here to custom LUT and you can either pick from this drop down that will show you LUTs that you've previously used or you can click over here on the ellipsis to load in a custom LUT from anywhere. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab this Skygrades Natural LUT. This is one that is more or less Rec. 709, but it looks slightly different from the manufacturer one. And so I wanted to show you what it looks like starting from another content creator's LUT. And if you have a Mavic and you want to support the film poets who are the ones that made this awesome set of LUTs, I'm going to go ahead and throw a link underneath the like button so you can go ahead and pick that up and support them for their awesome work. Once we have the LUT loaded in, we're going to click the three dot menu and we're going to convert the LUT into adjustments. And you can see Pixelmator automatically turns this LUT format into normal image editing color adjustments that you would expect to see in Photoshop or honestly, I wish we saw in Final Cut Pro, but we don't. So you can see this particular LUT, all of the different little shifts it makes and the highlights and the shadows, the brightness and the contrast, and all of these things together are not something that you can just guess and check your way to. And that's why if you want something that starts at a technically correct place, you want to go ahead and find that D-Log LUT from the manufacturer, especially since it's free. Now in this case, maybe I want to make uh, this LUT a little bit more teal, and maybe I want to grab those yellows and make them a little bit more orange and uh, increase the saturation. And now I've taken this normal looking LUT for a Mavic that was in Rec. 709 space, and I've turned it into something that is more teal and orangey. And I, I think that looks pretty good. So we're just gonna come up here to the ellipsis and we're going to click export adjustments as a LUT. And again, it's just that simple. It will take the adjustments from that original LUT and it will apply our new adjustments that we made to it. And we've created ourselves a brand new LUT that is based on the original. It's still got that technically correct foundation, but it's got a little bit more of a unique look to it. All right, so that's how you would go about making a look from ground zero, but what if we wanted to take a LUT from a content creator that we liked that maybe just doesn't really work for our camera? So I'm just gonna come up here to format and reset the adjustments here. Got this top layer selected with a uh, daughter playing in Disneyland. I'm gonna go ahead and go custom LUT again, and I'm gonna grab this Sam Colder number six LUT. This is something he had on sale. Uh, it was a big LUT bundle sale. I'm going to convert this LUT into adjustments. Once I've got that, you can see all of the different things he's done here. So he's warmed it up, he's changed the greens and purples, changed the exposure. And one of the things that I'm noticing that really doesn't work with iPhone footage is that it looks really blown out in the whites. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna come down here to the highlights where it's extra bright. Oh. Yep, see, he already had the highlights pulled down, but it's the contrast. So I'm just gonna keep the contrast where it is. I'm gonna bring the highlights down even further. And you can see that I still get that nice look, but it doesn't look blown out in the highlights nearly as bad. You can go through and I can make all sorts of adjustments, but for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and export this as a Sam Colder iPhone LUT. And now I've got Sam Colder's iconic teal and orange look, but working with my iPhone footage. And that's it. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Your support means the world to me. If you have a YouTuber, a movie, a TV show that has a title, a transition, and now a LUT or a look that you would like to know how to achieve, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to make that video for you. Also, if you have more questions about specific software, maybe it's Pixelmator Pro, please let me know about that too and I'll make sure to make that video for you. With that said, thank you for sticking around and we will catch you on the next one.